All right, the nether update is here. We got a lot to do, and what the heck is this thing right here? Oh, jeez! Hey, what is happening, guys? It's Curtis, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. This is episode four of my Realm series, and the nether update is finally here. We gotta go fly off into some unloaded chunks to see if maybe we can find some find something new and exciting. So I'm super excited to finally be able to do this. We've been saving this for a while, and so let's go ahead and get started. Ooh, these guys are definitely new. We got some piglins hanging out down here. Let's take a look at these guys. Oh jeez, I forgot, I forgot. I am not wearing any gold armor at all, so let's go do that. Throw on this gold helmet. There we go, that should help. And then I think I can use up some of my gold to trade with this guy. Or I guess it's not trading, it's uh, it's bartering. This is piglin bartering. You throw them a gold ingot and they give you something in return. Hopefully it's good, uh, but sometimes it's leather. And I think gravel too, sometimes. I have to keep looking around because I'm so worried that a gas is going to spawn and kill me. Bedrock Edition has updated its spawning conditions, so spawning is a lot faster and it's crazy. Ooh, what the heck? Ooh, Crying Obsidian. I can make a respawn anchor with this, right? What do I need for that? Let's see, uh, an items? Respawn anchor. Okay, so we need some glowstone and three more Crying Obsidian, so let's barter a little bit more and see if we can get that. Let's see. And I didn't get enough for that, but we have a shulker box full of some nether items so far, and this is looking pretty good. Ooh, this nice crimson forest. This is very aesthetically pleasing. Let's see, okay, so I can't dig it like I would with mycelium or dirt, but I can mine it. But it'll only give me nether rack, so I think I'll have to use silk touch. Ooh, nice little mushroom. Oh, geez, not the hoglins. These guys are like the worst. They're so aggressive. But I mean, they drop pork chops, so it's another way to get food in the nether, I suppose. Gathering a little bit more mushrooms. These are pretty good. I want to make my own crimson forest farm in the overworld. What the heck are these things? Crimson roots? Yeah, I guess I'll pick up a couple more of these. And I think what we're going to do is, I think I'll throw this into a time lapse so that we can explore the nether a little bit faster. Oh, jeez, we're going to get away from these guys, though, first. Alright, so we're back from the nether. We got quite a lot of loot, as you can see in the shulker box. We're just gonna have to organize things a little bit. We did get nine uh, ancient debris, which will be equivalent to nine uh, netherite scrap. 
Um, and I'm actually not sure how that works. I'll need to look into that. Um, but let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away. And it looks like we need four netherite scrap and four gold ingots to be able to make uh, one netherite ingot, which is pretty expensive actually. So let's grab four and four. Um, and let's go ahead and put that together to make one netherite ingot. And instead of making it another right armor and another right uh, tools we're gonna make a lodestone for our nether hub and I think we're gonna put it right here between the shopping district portal and the spawn island portal um, just in case I know we have coordinates on but I think this might help out as well just a little bit and Robert has invited us to take a look at his new base and I'm really excited for that because I know he's been working hard on it look how big this thing is he dug this out all by himself that's crazy oh geez Wait, did I get hit or did he get hit? Anyway, I'll have to take care of this phantom. These guys are annoying. I'll have to use my expert marksmanship to, to knock him out of the sky. That phantom was a little bit harder than normal, but I'm really excited to take a look at Robert's base. He's been working really hard on it. It's looking very nice. Oh, jeez! What the heck? My wings didn't open. What a waste of a totem. Everything's looking pretty good though. Oh, he's got a little creeper up in that cave there. I'll take care of it. So that it doesn't blow up Robert's hard work. And okay, I guess it blew up anyway. I hope Robert didn't hear that. That would be awkward. Um, but alright, anyway, I'm really liking how this is looking, like I was saying. Uh, I think it can be a really impressive build and I'm really excited to see what he does with it. Now it looks like Sam's using one of the new emotes that comes with another update. Um, I don't have any set up. What if I change it? Ooh, I have three more than the standard. I think that's the one he's using. Uh, so I select it, go back, and it's, it's not there. Did I, do I need to equip it somehow? Maybe collect? Let's try that. Okay, maybe. Yeah, okay, so that looks like that worked. Let's go ahead and use it. And you can see me dancing in the top left corner. Oh, and then what's this one? Is this like a, a, a mining one? What do we got? Uh, this one's hello. The pickaxe, that could be it. Oh no, it's this one right here. What is this? The hammer? Let's go ahead and collect that. And then we'll go ahead and start playing it, I guess. Oh yeah, look at that. I wonder if I can maybe, like, spam them? What happens when I do that? I wonder what it looks like on their screen. But if I just like start clicking them. But we're about to go out into the nether. We're going to do some exploring together. It looks like uh, Sam wants to meet in a uh, basalt delta. And I think that is, uh, what were the coordinates again? 325 and negative uh, 383. Okay. So I think that's out in this direction. So let's head on out there. It's going to be a little bit of a flight. But we'll get there pretty quickly, I think. And here we are. We got plenty of magma cubes, which are pretty annoying and unlike slimes the small ones actually do some damage too so I'm waiting for the others to get over here I think uh, I flew on ahead of them oh my gosh can I get some magma cream at least and it looks like Sam set up a little base for us to call like a little hub between our nether hub and here and it looks like Oh wow, he's been mining quite a bit. All of this area has been blown up with beds, I think, and he's been using beds for mining ancient debris. Oh, wow, this thing goes on for quite a bit. He must have used a lot of wool. And I keep forgetting to repair my pickaxe, so I'm going to have to uh, mine out some nether quartz to repair it a little bit and get that experience for it. And, ooh, okay, there we go. We got some ancient debris right here. Perfect. Any more? No? Okay, that's wonderful. At least I got something though. This is pretty impressive. And it looks like we got a soul sand valley over here. I'm really excited about that because of all the ghasts and skeletons. Uh, I wish I had a shield with me because this place is pretty dangerous without it. Oh, getting shot at. Got to take care of him pretty quickly. But with the soul sand, or I guess this is soul soil, it takes a bit of time to reach there. Ooh, I love the sound of the bone blocks breaking. That is amazing. 
This place is like super dangerous though. Oh my gosh, there's so many skeletons left and right. Uh, I guess I'll take this time to remind you guys that if you're not already subscribed, you can click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload a video. And if you're not following already, you can follow me on Twitter or support me on Patreon, both at Curtis as a dig. Ooh, jeez. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. If I survive, that is. Thanks.